Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Rock 2022 AU. It's the 1st of October and time for another album cover for our make along. So before we do that, do a bit of a review on September. We explored the music, different music genres. We did the string quartet and movie soundtracks, exploring the movie Clockwork Orange. Now, I'm not sure this music was as well received as past months, but we did receive the same number of entries of pictures posted for our participant prize. So thank you for sticking with it and keep going. And don't forget, at the end of this video will be the prize draw. So make sure you watch it to the end to find out who won and congratulate the winner. What else can I say? There were really interesting comments on Clockwork Orange. So don't forget, if you've got a comment or a memory you'd like to share, please do so in um, the comment section below this video. I really like reading them and music seems to make people remember things or associate music with certain events and it's really great to read them. So October, what are we going to do in October? It's Breast Cancer and Awareness Month. It's Halloween which is heavily supported and celebrated in the Northern Hemisphere but not so much down under where I am. So going through our vinyl record collection with Reeves, we decided why not do Halloween because we came across what we consider the perfect album for the 1st of October and supporting Halloween. What do you think it is? It is Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell. Have I got that the right way? Yes. <laughs> yes, Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell. I am a huge fan of meatloaf i love his music his voice he's just he was an awesome person he died this year january the 20th 2022 and that was probably one of the saddest days in january for me uh, to lose another talent like him there are great songs on this album and um, i'll go through a few with you there is Bat Out of Hell, you took the words right out of my mouth. And on this particular album, and he's not a huge fan, but Reeves does like Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. He said, I've always liked that song. I always think he did a great job of that. So I've got a few notes, a bit of research on him. I did find a little funny story. Um, in Not so funny, but... Mm, he was born on September 27, 1947. He was known professionally as Meatloaf. He's an American rock singer. Now, some critics say he's rock. Some say he's hard rock. Some say he's heavy metal. I think rock and hard rock, I don't think he, he sort of really went into the heavy metal genre. Um, but, yeah, he did the Bad Out of Hell trilogy, three albums. Bad Out of Hell was the first one. The trilogy has sold more than 100 million records worldwide. The first album stayed at, in the charts for over nine years. Still sells an estimated 200,000 copies annually and is listed on the bestseller album list. That's amazing, isn't it? One album can do so much like that, but it is a great album. After commercial success of Bad Out of Hell and Bad Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell, and earning a Grammy Award for Best Solo Rock, Vocal Rock Performance for the song I Do Anything for Love, he nevertheless experienced real difficulty establishing himself in the USA. His popularity was, in Australia of course, very popular here, Europe, UK and Ireland. He appeared in over 50 films and television shows, sometimes as himself and sometimes as his stage persona. His film roles included Eddie in the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Robert Paulson in Fight Club. He appeared on Broadway in the Rocky Horror Picture Show and off-Broadway in Hair. So here's the story I discovered and read and sort of went, hmm, that's a bit strange and funny. Meatloaf was a vegetarian from 1981 to 1992. 
Discussing the confusion caused by his contrasting stage name and dietary habits, he once told Entertainment Weekly, there have been vegetarians who wouldn't speak to me because of my stage name. I was sitting with Bon Jovi at one of these award things and I'd say, oh man, I love Katie Lang. I'd really like to meet her. They went to find out if it was okay. And she goes, no, his name is Meatloaf. I stopped being a Katie Lang fan after that. That's really weird, isn't it? That she didn't want to meet him because he was called Meatloaf. And I'm a Katie Lang fan. He declared in 2019 that he would try being a vegan. And in 2020, he went into partnering with UK restaurant chain Frankie and Benny's to promote a vegan option. A bit disappointing if that story is true, that she didn't want to meet him because of his name. No, my mum, her name, she hated it. And she made us all promise we would never name her children, our children after her, not even a middle name. She never wanted it to continue in the family line. Her name was Phyllis. She hated it with a passion. Dad referred to her as Phil. No one was ever allowed to call her Phyllis. And no, we were under the threat of death. And she would even come back to haunt us, she said, if we named our children after her. Anyway, guys, I hope the album cover inspires you with all its fantastic colours, bad in the background. That's the back cover, just in case you want to see that. I hope the music list, you listen to the playlist I put together. Let's hope it's not too long because I do like a lot of his songs. And the other thing is, which is going to sound really weird, I've never been able to make a awesome meatloaf. They've always been a bit average. I'll make them and Reeves and the thing go, oh yeah, it's all right, it's not fantastic. So guys, if you have an awesome meatloaf recipe, I want to share it, post it in the Facebook book group with Rock 2022 AU or on Instagram with the um, hashtag Rock 2022 AU and that will be your participants project entry for me to look at and see whether I want to try. You can also email me your great meatloaf recipe. I don't know why it's something I have to conquer. I have to make a great meatloaf. Now, the other thing I've done that's a little different for this one is I did a bit of research on some free patterns for you to try. Because I know as we're getting to the end, you know, have you finished your big project and you're looking for little things to make? Or have you been making little projects and you're running out of ideas? Well, with it being Halloween, so here goes. Rose Lights Crochet with Wings, where people donate to each month different things. October is Lovies. And I have made a lot of Zelda RJ3 Z's Lovies and sold a lot of them. And they are awesome. So I'll put a link in the description below. But when I was thinking that on Ravelry, I found a free crochet pattern for a lovey that I thought would be great for Halloween. A great donation to Wings. And you can also submit it for Rock 2022 AU. I hope it's okay on my iPad. My printer's not working. There you go. It is called Mary's Bat Lovey. And I thought that was pretty cool if you want to make that. Now, I do have another one for my um, knitting friends if I can get back to where I'm supposed to be on this iPad. I don't use my iPad very often now. I do have a little knitted pattern that I thought was really cute. I've just got to find him. Just bear with me, guys. Oh, dear. I have so many patterns in my library. I really do need to um, cull some of them. Where'd he go? Oh, oh, there he is. Let's open him up. Let's try and make him a little bigger so you can see him. He is, can you see that? The cloudy bat. I thought that would look good on a keychain for a bag, um, bag buddy for some little person, especially a boy. 
and make a great stocking filler for Christmas or a little gift at Halloween. So there you go. I'll put links in the description below for these patterns if you use Ravelry and you need a bit of creativity input to be inspired for Rock 2022 AU for October. I hope Meatloaf is someone you will enjoy the music of and revisit. So guys, that's pretty much it for Rock 2022 AU, 1st of October. Stay well, stay safe, and remember, you can make anything for someone you love. Bye for now. Time for our participant prize draw for September in Rock 2022 AU, 60 names on the wheel. Good luck, everyone. And our winner is Julie Wintour. Congratulations, Julie. Just contact me by email. You've won yourself a $25 gift voucher. Um, we'll work out by email what, what sort of gift voucher you want. Thank you for participating, ladies. I hope you enjoy October. And I'm looking forward to getting into the spirit of Halloween. Bye for now.